Hello there. So today we're taking a deep dive into the new Udesley licensing system. So you built your shiny new website, you've tested it and converted it a few times using the free Udesley app and now it's time to set your project live and you want to get rid of that little made with Udesley banner. First things first, you're going to need a premium license code and uh, yeah, this is how you get it. Open up the Udesley app on our browser. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to click over to the tab and we're just going to head on over to pricing. All right. If you've already signed up or you have an account, then just log in as you normally would. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on buy now. Uh, we'll continue to check out and we'll just fill in our information and then we continue through the checkout process and complete our order. Okay, so now once we've done that, we can go to our My Account page and you'll see here that you've got a new license code that's been applied. You can see here there's one that I've used previously and it's scratched out just because I've already applied that to another project. So it's kind of handy that you don't have to remember which ones you've used. So we'll just copy that for later. All right, so in this example, we're gonna do a Shopify store. So I've already gone ahead and pre-built a template, very, very simple. And all we're gonna do is just run through the quick conversion steps and get it stood up. Okay, so here we are in our beautifully designed template. It's just a quick one. So all we need to do is run through our conversion steps. So click on our Udesley Converter app, click Configure Attributes, it'll do its thing. But once it refreshes the page, we will then just export our code and then we'll head on back over to our Udesley app and begin the conversion process. Okay, so let's head on over to our app. We'll click getting started on the Shopify things and then we'll go through the process. Go and choose our file. So we'll click on there. There's our zip file. We're just gonna add that one. Now we are on this license page and this is the cool thing about the new application. So previously what happened was if you were testing the free version that had a number of limitations in place. That's no longer the case anymore. So when you're on this particular page, you've got two choices. You can either continue with the free one or you can assign the new license, which is what we're going to be doing. So we'll go back into here as we'll see here, activate a license. We'll go into here. Now remember that we've copied that license before. So we'll just plop it in there and we will hit activate let it do its thing. Now, if I was to hit activate again, you're gonna see a license code invalid or already in use. So don't panic. All we need to do is just refresh the page and then just reconvert the template. So just go choose, um, add that zip file. And we are now into this particular area because it would have applied that particular code. All right, so we just add our theme configuration file, open that, convert, and then download the, the zip. Now we're just going to install that onto the Shopify store and just test things out. Okay, so that's the theme that's installed. So we'll just hit publish, let it do its thing. And then we can view our store and you'll see that there's no Udesley banner there. Right, so now let's go back to the udesley.app website and we're going to click on my account and you can see here that the license code that we just applied has been applied to a project and is scratched out and now you no longer ever have to worry about license costs for Udesley for that particular project anymore. All right, so now let's walk through what happens if you try to duplicate a Webflow project and rerun the export process using the same code. Okay, so here we are in the Webflow. So what we're gonna do is duplicate this for example point of view, and we have our new duplicated site. Okay, so let's pretend that we're making a few changes to this particular template. So we'll go into here, we'll make a very profound change. And what we will then do is just run through our export process again. All right, so back to our Udesley app. So we'll go into the application. Again, we'll go through this particular process. We'll choose our files. We will do our latest ones. So it's that one. And you'll see here, activate a license and we'll need to go through that again. But now if I try and apply that same license, it's not going to work. It's gonna say license code or invalid. That's because this license is locked to that particular Webflow project, the first one that we did. So we cannot do that. Okay, so if you wanted to make specific changes to that particular template, you're going to have to do it on the original project that you created. So if we were to make this particular change, very complicated, I know, we would have to go back to our dashboard and make the change on this particular one, re-export and pretty much you're good to go. It will convert seamlessly. So if we go and we do this quickly one more time, back into the Udesley app, we'll get 
getting started again and we'll choose the newly downloaded file and you can see here it immediately detects that that project project has a license assigned to it so you immediately get into the theme configuration steps and we can just add our theme file convert it job done okay so that's the tutorial so i know not overly complicated but it's good just to kind of show how the whole new licensing system works from end to end uh, and hopefully answer some questions and some challenges that some people have been having with kind of understanding the, the general workflow. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe. We are going to be doing a series of tutorials and more and more videos as we go. But uh, really important to us is understanding where you are struggling or what we could explain better so that we can kind of help you. And with that, that's it. So happy building and catch you later. Cheers.